Hey everybody, my name is Anthony Farrar. I'm a physician assistant. I've been doing aesthetics for about 10 years now, I guess. And today, we're going to be doing a little bit of uh, volume to my beautiful little model here, written. Basically, what we're going to do is, well, let me get your head up here, Britt. Basically, what we're going to do here, I don't know if you can see on the camera, probably better from the side, but Brittany here has lost just a little bit of volume right here in the front of her cheek. If you look at her from the front, you may not be able to see the volume loss, but you can see it looks like kind of dark under here. Brittany's still young, so that's why she's got such nice skin and she has really good volume. Most people would look at her and say, well, that girl doesn't need anything done. But even girls, even young girls, can, let, can have loss of volume in the face. This is usually the first place that people start to lose volume is right in this area. So by using a filler that we're gonna to do today, um, we can just get it to fill in and look more round, just like, well, like reinflating a balloon basically. And you'll see the difference. We'll all be able to see the difference. For sure. All right. Now, the next thing we're going to do is mark out some landmarks, some facial landmarks on Brett. I like to do it this way. You know, other people like to do it their own way. There are different ways to mark off. Uh, different ways to mark off the landmarks that I'm using. Basically, what I'm going to do is draw a straight line, as straight as possible as I can, from top of her ear down to her nose here, and you'll see, sometimes it's a little tricky. There we go. So here's the way I mark quadrants out that I'm going to be using. And basically I just draw a line from the top of the ear down to the nasal ally. And then I'll just draw from, try to eyeball as closely as possible the, from the uh, outer canthus of the, eye, of the eye. And then just try to make them intersect. And We'll try to get them as close as possible, of course, before we do it, but I'll use as as my different quadrants. And this line here usually is going to fall right along uh, the zygomatic bone. So you don't have to go looking around too much for it because it's already marked out for you. Okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. Don't run along that. Today we're using this product known as Radius. So first, we're, since we're going to be using a cannula, which I'm not going to go into a lot right now, but it's a lot less traumatic than um, using a needle all over the face and you can do a really good job of putting the product where you need it to go. I'm going to test around here. Does that hurt, Brett? Mm -mm. At all? Okay. So, we're just making a little pilot hole here. So, we have a, already made our uh, entry point here. I used a 22 gauge needle. And now we're going to use this 25 gauge blunt tip cannula and insert right in. And this way, we'll be able to get the areas we need to get without 
the risk of uh, puncturing blood vessels. The main thing, you don't want to give somebody a black eye when you're uh, putting filler in, especially in this area because it's, it's like a, a minefield with blood vessels and nerve endings that we don't want to get near with a sharp needle. So, cannula is ideal for doing this area. Basically, I'm just uh, laying down lay. I'm just putting down layers of uh, filler. I'm not squeezing in a whole lot all at once. I want it to look natural. I want it to look, you know. I want it to look like a normal, natural cheek, and not like bulged way out, looking all crazy. Just want to replace just the, what has been lost and not overfill because when you overfill a cheek I don't think it looks good. What do you think Brittany? I agree. Do you think overfilling cheeks is attractive? I like natural. Me too. Now we're going to be like over here. Let me see from front. Oh man, freaking awesome. Cool. Mm -hmm. So I use 0.5 here. Now we're going to go here. Moving the can. Does it hurt at all? Mm -mm. Okay. Now we're going to move into sec sector number two, which is right along Brittany's. Uh, Zygomatic arch here along the zygoma, just to kind of build up her, uh, build up her cheekbone a little bit. So we're going to put volume right here, and you'll see the difference when we're done. Now we'll just kind of go right along a little line here. I feel good. I feel good. 